The importance of managing risk is an integral part of all business processes today, especially lean and quality. Of all the changes found in the 2015 revision of ISO 9001, none have been more challenging than the introduction of the requirement for organizations to adopt risk-based thinking. For users of the standard, the need to demonstrate an understanding of risk presents risks and opportunities of their own. Failure to do so could trigger nonconformances, or worse, nasty surprises causing injury to customers, employees, or the financial well-being of the organization. But there are opportunities, too. Understanding risk can help organizations improve planning, expand resources, and increase flexibility. That's the idea behind the new streaming video training set from 360 Performance Circle, covering risk management and the tools you need to manage it. The handle and the visible hinges on door A make it obvious that the door has to be pulled open. But is it fully mistake-proofed? No, not really. Someone can still misunderstand the handle and try to push it open, thus causing an accident. It is, though, less likely to happen, and that's what is most important to understand as we attempt to mitigate risks. In fact, if we show the two FMEA forms at the same time, with the design FMEA on the left and the process FMEA on the right, the only two main differences are in the first column, in which the design FMEA would list parts or components or sub-assemblies, and the process FMEA would list the process steps from the process flow diagram. Presented by lean trainer extraordinaire Mike Micklewright, this two-episode set will guide you through the in-depth use of the Failure Mode and Effects Analysis Process, or FMEA, including a clear and concise example demonstrating how to calculate and then reduce your risk priority number. So let's review the scores of 4 or lower and get rid of 5 through 10. So once again, we see our risk management graph. The vertical axis represents the average risk rating for all the risks together. The horizontal axis represents time. The curved exponential curve in the center represents our expectations of the risk and how we want risk to be decreased with time. So let's take a look at a graphical representation of Hoshin Connery. We start in the upper right side where we talk about the mission statement and the quality policy. We, act, we cascade these goals down to the next level and we look at the relationship between these goals and the actions or the Kaizen events. Here we specifically develop actions or improvement activities to reduce risk. Finally, you'll learn how to understand and manage risk throughout your entire organization at a product and process level, then a project level and finally, at the strategic and company-wide level. Auditors have stated that in assessing a company's conformance with the risk-based thinking language found in ISO 9001-2015, they will be looking for proficiency with the FMEA process. Once again, here you see the design FMEA. Let me explain to you the main features of the form before we get into the more detail on the controlled conditions. Take those three ratings, the severity, and the occurrence and the de detectability, and we multiply them to come up with a risk priority number. This is an overall evaluation of the comparative risks of all the failures for that given product. Let's look at one of our previous examples with regard to the doors. So the item or the function is the door. What is the function? Ingress and egress. The failure mode, the door is swung open the wrong way. What are the effects of that failure? There's an injury to perhaps two people, and then we reevaluate the values. In this case, the severity is a nine, the likelihood of occurrence is a three, and the detectability is a one, resulting in the new risk priority number of 27. This video training set offers the finest overview of FMEA you will find on the market today. If you and your team are struggling to understand risk-based thinking, within the context of ISO 9001-2015 and need to develop an FMEA procedure, then this is the video set for you. But managing risk is not just about using tools. It's also about integrating it with a culture of mistake-proofing, and that is born from a philosophy of respect for employees. Our videos are segmented into easily digestible chapters. 
360 Performance Circle's Risk Management Video Training Set will allow you to strengthen and improve your organization, top to bottom, with a focus on planning and preparation. Understand and manage risk to protect your customers, your employees, your reputation, and your financial position. And pass your audit through conformance to the risk-based thinking language in ISO 9001-2015 by employing the FMEA process. So join 360 Performance Circle in the journey toward managing and mastering risk in your organization.